Welcome to another production by the Millennium Mechanical Therapist. Your hosts, Dr. Joseph Gravino and Dr. Clay Case, are two physical therapists trying to treat health issues mechanically. Listen further for patient cases, guest videos, advantages and disadvantages of the way they practice, and much more. Thanks for tuning in today. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and at our website. We hope that you learn a lot from watching this video and you come back for more. Hey everyone, I am the Millennium Mechanical Therapist and today I want to talk about a change I made to my eval process after watching one of the mentor webinars from the McKinsey Institute uh, in their respective branches. Uh, I think it stems originally from the International Institute, but uh, I've been involved with the LinkedIn forum group and one of the spin-off questions relates to how the exam process or the eval process is tailored when you discover a lot of yellow flags, a lot of chronic pain, a lot of persistent pain, things like that in a patient that's coming in for services. One of the suggestions that was made is to really involve them in the diagnosis process. And uh, that's something I've been implementing with, with really great success so far. You know, I've tried it on a few evals so far, probably, probably about three or four. And uh, we go through the, the whole history as per the, the assessment form, kind of get my provisional classification going. And then depending on the patient, kind of read the room type idea, um, I'll sit right down with them and go, you know, this is what I'm thinking about. I try not to lead them with that and go, you know, this is what I think you are. I just put down the possibilities of what's there. So, you know, if it's... Um, localized low back pain things like that but they haven't had it for a very long time but they're almost catastrophizing this this situation you know i tell them it's probably not a dysfunction it's probably not a tight tissue and that's probably not just the only thing that's wrong now on the flip side if it's a long-standing issue that doesn't hurt a lot but is just always constantly there very chronic pain um, presentation We'll go through the, the different possibilities. You know, maybe it's a joint line problem. Maybe it's uh, something with the nervous system going on in there. Uh, maybe it's some type of a situation where uh, biopsychosocial um, factors are really affecting how you feel or what's going on. So, you know, we put down, or what I've been doing at least, is we've got a whiteboard in each room, e each of our exam rooms. And then we also have one right in the middle of the uh, the, the general gym area. Worst case scenario, I use the back side of the paper and uh, you know, I just write them all down and as we go through and find different key pieces or I'll point out the key pieces that were presented through the history, I go, this can't be it. This can't be it. This can't be it. And we'll talk through all those and find out kind of, you know, where in the um, process uh, their symptoms and their story really fits. And when we get to something that sounds provisional, you know, most of the time I have to level with them and go, you know, you're going to be my detective right now. I'm going to have you go home and have you try this exercise. We don't want too many cooks in the kitchen or they spoil the soup, but we try this exercise and see if this has any effect on it, you know, better or worse, same. We're going to find out if one of those situations comes up and it's going to tell us what direction we want to go from there. Um, but I've found that by really including them in that diagnosis process, a lot of them just seem to be more interested. And uh, for any of the recent graduates, I know it's part of the curriculum to go through teaching and learning principles. And that really, really inspires that active learning component rather than us just sitting there lecturing as medical professionals because they didn't get that enough at their physician's office. And we're just, you know, word vomiting all of this stuff to them you you put it on the board and you go do you think this can be it and they go i don't i don't know explain it to me a little bit and, you know, we go through it and in the case earlier you know if i explain a dysfunction i say it's extremely consistent you usually don't have pain at rest um, your range has to be limited and, and truly feel like it's stuck not just oh i can't go farther because of pain and it has to have a pretty long standing history. And they'll look at me and go, I only have like one of those characteristics. That can't be it. And you're right. We strike it off the list and we go, well, we don't have to worry about that one. 
So as we go through that kind of situation, we I've found at least that a lot of my patients have been happier leaving and things like that. You know, they feel like they were really involved and not just given something to do or given some type of situation. And you know, that really correlates well with the MDT mindset of not using much passive modality type treatment. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, the more and more active you can make your client, your patient, whatever you want to call them, your consumer, the more active, the better off they're going to do. Uh, thanks for sticking with me through this one, guys. You know, I, I think this is something that's really helping me so far. So try it out. Give it a, a try. You know, this is uh, it's Wednesday today. We got a couple of days. If you got an eval coming in soon, give it a shot. See how it goes. Don't mess up your own flow. But if you can incorporate it pretty easily, give it a shot. As usual, like we always say, you got to move your patients early. You want to move them really often. You've got to, got to, got to move them to end range because that's where the magic happens. Take care, guys.